Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Inspirational Power Hour, and I'm so excited because my brother, Pastor A.D., is with me. Hey, 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 hey. I'm excited today. I am, too, because I told you that I need a word. I believe that we all need a word, and I know you always have something uh, from the Lord to say to us. So I'm excited to hear what you have to say to us today. You just sparked something in me um, um, when we were talking about the Olympics, Mm -hmm. and we were talking about how... You know, they do all this training for the Olympics. And then when the Olympics come, they have they have this moment to shine. They have this moment for their talent to be uh, exhibited. And then they compete for this gold medal. And now that the Olympics are over, uh, they're asking themselves, now what? What do I do now? And immediately when you said that, what came to my mind is the story when Judas uh, brought, brought the soldiers to come get Jesus. Jesus said this. He said that this is the time. And then another translation says this is the moment. Another translation says this is the season where darkness reigns. Mm. And when he says this, is that um, we have to understand that it's not always our season, but it's what we do when it's not our season that matters the most. Yes. That I can't wait until the stage is set for me to step up on the stage and do what I need to do to become an Olympian. I have to be operating in that already as if I'm already there. Mm -hmm. And so in this off season, things aren't going the way I anticipated them to go or I'm not where I think that I should be. That now in my off season, this is the time that makes me. When you look at NBA stars or football stars, the off season matters more than the regular season because in the off season, it predicates how my regular season will go. And so even with the Olympians, you know, they, you know, Olympics are every four years. Mm -hmm. And so with it being every four years, they train uh, hard for four years that that this may seem like a long, hard training process. But this is where most of us are. We we feel like we're doing something. We're not seeing results for it. I'm ready to get on the stage. I'm ready to do this. But let me tell somebody that this situation that you're dealing with and this training that you're dealing with is grooming you not to not to hurt you, but it's grooming you to grow you. And so everything that you do, you're growing and you're becoming better with. And so we have to we have to understand that that there are seasons where I'm on um, and I got to start speaking speaking life into my season that even when right now um, I may not feel it but I'm going to still speak it and so that I operate in the season that God has me in and then even in my off season when it seems like off season I'm doing more training than I ever have before and so that's what we are that's what we need to be doing is that um, uh, when the light's not on me what am I doing am I preparing for when the light's hit wow that's a that's a powerful word. I was trying to I remember our conversation about the phone conference calls and etiquette and all that stuff. I was trying to keep from saying amen real loud. <laughs> So true. So, amen. So, Thank you so much for that word, Pastor A.D. Oh, no problem. No problem. Thank you. 